So Sam, give us a brief description of what's happening right now. Uh, so we're uh, sort of at Accra Airport. I have one bag with two harnesses and two ropes in it. And the clothes that I'm wearing and a little bit of carry-on luggage. Steve's got one bag full of camera gear. And that's it. So yeah, we've just arrived in Ghana, uh, a little bit lighter than perhaps would have liked. So both of my luggage bags have not arrived. So you could say mission critical, not uh, the end of the world, but definitely would have preferred to have my bags. So off to a great start, I reckon. Where's Bismarck? Where's Bismarck? Where's Bismarck? We thought we weren't, you weren't coming. My bags were the last two bags that came off of that enormous plane. Uh, we finally have all the people and now all the bags. Welcome, Vicky. Thank you. Welcome, Sam. And welcome, Steve. Yeah, thank you, Bismarck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's always a bit of a whirlwind, isn't it? It's like we're now back where we were, what, 12, 13 days ago? and to condense everything that's happened in those 13 days is a bit overwhelming. But in terms of what we've achieved and our goal to come here and train a group of scientists that other than Steve knowing Bismarck, we didn't know at all, it's gone spectacularly well. Very proud to be a part of this project and come to Ghana it's been a privilege to be able to share my skills with a group of researchers that are very passionate about the work that they're going to do and they've been so inspiring. They're, they're so excited to go and apply these skills and use them to enhance the studies that they're doing already and this has just opened up a world of opportunity for them. Well, I guess the, my expectations were, I've done a lot of trips internationally, like for trees and, and stuff like that. So I always try and just keep my expectations as neutral uh, as possible. But just trying to arrive in Ghana with everything prepared, everything that I could manage of myself and the equipment uh, in place and ready to go and then with my thoughts and all that kind of stuff just like leave it all alone and just let it happen. Yes. Uh, this morning we are going over to the parks and gardens and to some places in the university. Uh, we are going to look at some trees and see if um, you'll be excited enough about them. <laughs> So we've made a decision, we're going to start in this little grove um, of trees over here. That's going to give us a good, um, a good jumping off point where we can do some rope throwing, cambium saver installation, just getting a feel for the equipment and then we'll probably do the visual tree assessment over there, right? Yeah, there's a selection of trees there with varying levels of damage but there would be a good there's good features there to talk about mm -hmm. what parts of the tree are strong um, which parts might be compromised and that's going to be really important for these students as they're making these decisions mm -hmm. um, out on their their study sites <laughs> but I'm very very happy to be here I'm very happy to have brought two of my good friends here as well and I think over the course of the next few days uh, it's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of very you know, steamy, sweaty work as well, so be prepared for that. And it's not so easy. We have to work hard. Like Steve said, there's a lot of gravity involved, but it can be so much fun. And it can just, it's a different world up there. And with your knowledge of what you study, and then the ability to get into these areas, it just opens up so much possibility. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not too deep. But I think Turfelberger might have been more generous than we, but then we might have asked for. Garner is never going to run out of access. <laughs> so these are the stuff that Husqvarna Australia has sent over. I think Petzl sent over a whole stack of helmets and they gave you the really good helmets with like the vents. And then of course DMM gave us all the lovely jewellery. So Elevate, Rescue. This was donated by CSP Distribution. CSP Distribution, thank you. <laughs> I think everyone's done an exceptional job of it. Yeah. Coming up with the funds and the equipment mm -hmm. to yeah. make sure you guys have a good time in the tree but yeah. also stay very safe. Thank you. <laughs> When do we start climbing? Now! <laughs> Got this set up here and it's got full weight in it. So Everything's working. This is landed. And put that around. Oh yeah, look at that! He's a tree climber! Yeah. <laughs> that was a good it's one. Took a lot of energy. Yeah. But do you think you'll like tree climbing? Yes, yes, very much. I think it's fun. Just one, two. A little debrief at the end. Um, that was a lot of information for one day. That's the general theme of the week. There's going to be a lot of information every day. So well done. Um, I hope that you can rest well this evening. Let it all sink in. Let it kind of digest a bit. Um, a few things. So the whole time we're just going to be, you know, trying to get you on the best standard of, of safety and also kind of like best practice. So little things that maybe may seem a bit silly. We just, we just want this top standard for you guys. So Vicky, how are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. There was a lot going on. So the first day is always chaos. Um, we had Sartreville here and to meet everyone, meet and greet. So it feels, uh, it feels like it's been a long, full, full on day. And the biggest thing for me is that the, the energy, brilliant. Good vibes. Uh, yeah, excellent first day. It's good to meet everyone, stoke levels very high, uh, even after only climbing up about five metres, six metres, no, probably not even for some of them, but yeah, very enthusiastic people and interesting to meet them and know why they're wanting to attend this workshop. First tree climb today, Bismarck? Yes, yes, yes. How did you find it? Surprising. All along when we were discussing this, I was always thinking about how on earth I'll get myself up anywhere in the tree <laughs> with all these chairs and when we were fixing all the equipment this morning um, they all look very complicated and I was wondering how are we going to at least handle this but it's, it all became very clear and made sense after some demonstration and then now we had to make the attempt ourselves and um, yeah I enjoyed it <laughs> I'm looking forward to tomorrow good yeah. afternoon so I don't think it could have gone any any better, to be honest. And everyone was smiling at the end of the day, so what more could you want? Day two, we're going to do a bit of a recap uh, and see how people are feeling, see where the aches and pains are from the climbing yesterday. Um, as always, before a climb, I'm just going to see if there's a stop or not in this rope, even though I'm not planning on going too high. Yep, it's got the stop or not. Also just running the rope through my hands, just checking if there was any any damage to so it. So the way we'll just go through the, the cambium saver on the ground first. We pull it into position and then pull the slip knot out. So I might need to just readjust it. But when I pull down on 
on this side, the knot comes undone. Load checking again, carabiners are closed and the carabiners are actually attached to the green rings. You can use a lanyard like we were doing yesterday in some of those trees. I don't want to swing out there and end up hanging in midair. When you get the technique right, use your legs to walk up the tree rather than having to pull on the rope. Yeah, we've got to get these foundation skills down well first because you can't always get the rope right at the top and you're always, you're always having to progress your line up further. And you have a lot more options for when it comes to methodologies and data collection. You're going to be able to be up there going, OK, ah, I can get over there so I can add this to my research. I can put that into the next proposal. Um, I have the skills to be able to go there. Or the other way, I don't feel comfortable going up higher in these trees, so we need to change the methodologies before you put in the funding application, for, for example. Canopy research in, in its entirety is a huge yeah. investment for universities. The training, the equipment, the time. Um, canopy research doesn't necessarily um, immediately take a lot of data. Um, it takes time to build up these projects and then it takes time to actually collect the data. So if you have somebody in the position above that is making decisions about funding and support and they're supportive of canopy research then it could make all the difference for these guys. Where are we, where are we off to now? Yes, uh, we are going to see the Pro Vice-Chancellor. Wow, 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 wow. So this is actually going to improve our program. <laughs> all right, sir. Thank you very much for inviting us and thank you very much for hosting us and we're so happy to be here. On behalf of the Vice Chancellor and Registrar and Time Manager and the Council of the University, we appreciate your kind gesture and the great gifts that you are giving to this university. It's all yours. Purpose of research. Mm. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you. So can you look into the camera for us? Yes. You don't really realise how much information they're getting until you're reminded that they come from no knowledge whatsoever and then you're teaching them new systems and there's so many different parts to each system and then there's the background information to, that, to those systems and then there's the rescue point of that so there's a lot of layers on each yeah, thing so I'll come down here. but they're they're doing great every group is different um it's one of these things as a trainer definitely every single group it'll teach me equally as much and, and new things uh every time every time i think that i've got something down that I'm like, this is, this, is the, this is the best way, this is the correct way, this is the, the, the most efficient way. I meet another group <laughs> and that's tested, uh, which is good. I should be open to those things. This particular group, oh, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. They were, how do I say this? They were, uh, despite taking it seriously, they were able to take the fun from every aspect of it. It was hard work in difficult conditions, you know, climbing in 35 plus degrees the whole day is tough on anyone, but they really came at it with enthusiasm and fun. And even when we could physically see them getting tired, by the end of the day, it was always a positive response. Welcome. Nice t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. It's 8.45. Yeah, so you are late. Woo! No. <laughs> My name is Charles Yao Akom Ejako Korye. I'm a conservationist. I work with Arusha Ghana, a conservation-oriented organization working in four parts of Ghana. I am currently stationed at Chebi in the eastern part of Ghana, and I do biodiversity conservation and forest monitoring. I work a lot with uh, mammals, especially endangered species, and, and a lot of trees as well. So I occasionally have to do some tree climbing. And so this workshop, I believe, will be very useful. And then will be a skill that will, I can add to my toolbox to help me access the, access the canopy and then uh, do my field activities. Hello, my name is Daniel, Daniel Yosin. I'm doing my master's work that I worked on primate habitat quality and their relationship with the ecological behavior. And interestingly, I assess certain vegetative characteristics that suit primate behavior. Interestingly, this workshop has been very grateful um, to me as a person and as a scientist here because a lot can, has been learned here and a lot 
can be applied to what I'm doing recently. And in the habitat quality of primates, all the habitat characteristics I, say, I assessed was at the ground level. So the limitation was the canopy habitat where most primates are. And interestingly, this workshop just, just came in handy because um, it's giving us the skills to assess the canopy and also assess the habitats of the canopy and in relation to their ecological behavior. I am Prince Bayeboa and I'm an M15 okay. in environmental science. This tree climbing training is a good uh, skill for me as I have interest in taxonomy. So uh, we need uh, the plant leaves in identif identifying plant species. So this uh, tree climbing training will help me get into those canopies, get the leaves uh, to create a herbarium. That I think um, that's what uh, this skill will really help me do. And I'm very excited and happy to be part of this training. So my name is um, Amos Kojo. This workshop is a very good experience for me. It helps me to study lianas in the trees, study some species, which um, are boreal species in the trees. Also, it helps me get an experience for tree climbing in a safe environment with um, risk-free gear, which has been gratefully given to us. So this is a very good and life-changing experience for me as an individual and as a student too. I feel um, a lot more confident, especially today. One of the tasks was to fix this um, rope wrencher and then tie the knots by ourselves. And then after that, also climb into the canopy using the uh, static rope system and go higher up than I have previously done since Monday and um, also switch over, use uh, the lanyard to get support and then um, switch the progressive method and go um, a notch higher into the canopy. And then once I was there and was able to support myself using the progressive system, lose the lanyard and then come down um, again using the progressive system. So um, I feel more confident yeah, about it. It was tough because a lot of muzzle work and a lot of work in the fingers, which uh, I'm not previously used to. So yeah, other than that, I think it was okay. So very nice today. I think I'm, yeah. I always feel very responsible um, teaching people new skills, especially knowing that they have the quite vulnerable position of the fact that they don't have expertise waiting to guide them at the end of this. So finding that balance and what we can squeeze into the time that we've got without teaching them things that could go on to confuse them. Take your time, wear gloves, try and make things easier for yourself. When you're going past a branch, reach as high as you possibly can and then see how I'm climbing up with my hands and I'm using my pantin to push me past the branch. I'm still in contact with the branch. It's against my arm, it's against my knee. So I'm bracing myself so that it's as comfortable as possible. If I'm looking from kind of day one to now, I have never worked with such an enthusiastic and positive team and that I'm just reveling in at the moment. It's just really wonderful. Um, the challenges of working in Ghana, like remote rainforest canopy research is tough. Like, it is tough. I'm not a researcher myself, but I know that it's one of the toughest field work that you can do. Um, and I'm really pleased with their progress uh, and even more so with their enthusiasm to learn and continue and know that this is a long, there's a long process. They're in it for the long run and that in a sense makes me feel that we've, we've struck that balance and now it's just repetition to build confidence. Yes, very, very confident. It's more comfortable. I, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's complex, but it's very, very comfortable with using all these systems, but I think I prefer the static one better. <laughs> because with that, the roof doesn't have to move sideways and it keeps you very comfortable. I think I made a mistake with the adjustments yesterday, but today when I, before I got there, I really adjusted it to my level, so it was very nice. I'm Anita, and I'm from the biological department, UNE. And this climbing is actually going to help me in my carbon monitoring, because we actually have a carbon tower at um, Bia Tunnel, 
we uh, monitor the emissions of carbon. So to climb that tower, we need these skills to also what, be effective in data collecting and monitoring. I think I'm getting quite better because when it, we started off the first day, I was finding a lot of difficulties even pulling myself up. But I think anytime I get into the air, I'm able to gain new skills and new, should I say, tricks on how to maneuver myself there. So today I find myself being able to pull myself up very quickly. Heads up, throwing rope, all right. I'm Anthony Oswe Chan. I'm an NPL student studying environmental sciences. This canopy climbing would help me a lot in my research because I have to mount nets way up in the canopies to trap leaf litters because I'm studying the decomposition of tree and liana litter. So I've taken some leaf samples which would be ready for some lab analysis. And this canopy workshop um, is a lifesaver. So now I'll be able to hang my nest in the canopies to help me collect some leaf samples of lianas and trees, which will help me in my decomposition research. The training and tree climbing experience that we've been able to share with these people has been so well received and I'm very proud to be able to spend my time being able to come and do things like this. I appreciate the privilege that I have to be involved with these projects and I'm more than happy to share my time knowing that this is going to enhance the studies and the research that these scientists can do. They're going to be able to have much better outcomes for their projects now, being able to access the trees. Tree climbing is our world and that's what we specialise in. And these guys specialise in the trees and the forests themselves and being able to share our skill set to enhance theirs has been amazing. <laughs> Yeah, so it's day six, would you believe? Cool, cool. We just haven't really had time to do the daily updates. It's just been too much fun and too busy and just making sure everyone's safe in the trees. But today we're off to the forest, out to a monkey sanctuary, where we're going to do our first wild tree climb. And it should be a great experience for the students and hopefully it all goes to plan. And you know, maybe hopefully it doesn't go to plan and just really shows how difficult working in a forest is. So we'll find out. This is us now going from training course to field research. Very different things. So we're going to be putting our training into place. We've got the party bus, three hour journey there, three hour back, but we've got the energy. Hopefully get everyone at the same tree and get the students to show us what they've actually absorbed this week and hopefully get them climbing on their own. Um, we are here in a community known as Boabin and um, right next to the community is the Boabin Fiema Monkey Sanctuary. It's a community managed forest and um, several tourists come to visit the area and we are also in the University UCF for our research. Uh, my research on the phenology of plants is happening here. Uh, mothers come and study the primates, the colobus and then the mona monkeys. Yeah. Yes, this is my research side. So we did ground monitoring to look at the behavior. So we walked through the forest and then we monitor the behavior of the primates at time intervals. We need this skill to climb up to the trees, set up cameras and um, use that to monitor their behavior. Um, we are here to uh, observe which trees we, that will present us a good challenge. We are out somewhere that is wild and um, we want to try our skills here. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing Steve? Oh, I feel like I just rolled out of bed <laughs> and went and sat under a waterfall as well. So this is the second tree uh, we've set up today. Uh, because the first tree was just unsuitable because of very large, numerous, spiky 
spikes. Yeah. So we decided to abandon that tree after halfway rigging it. And this is my second tree for the day, which I'm not disappointed in. Just want to thank, while we are here, Bismarck. Come in, Bismarck. I just want to thank my good friend Bismarck for inviting us to Ghana yeah, and doing all the hard work organising it. Because would you believe the sponsors all came very, very quickly, very, very generous. And we yeah. realise that it's a very big thing for you to organise to have us here and yeah. your students and yeah. some other visiting uh, academics from other locations yeah. as well. Yeah, so it's a big deal. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we can't. Uh, it's too sweaty to do the click. Almost. Yeah. We'll yeah, just, we'll just yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Way too sweaty for the, for the clicky thing. <laughs> Alright, off we go. Um, looking up the tree from the ground, it was it looked very tough. But I think um, every day as we climb, we gain much confidence and we are getting much stronger because now I'm way up here and I can look down without being afraid of the height. We encountered some obstacles we didn't encounter way back in the gardens. So we are kind of seeing certain challenges we would encounter on the field and how to go past them. It's lunchtime and we are going to eat. <laughs> okay. Heads up. Tony man descended. Slow. Bit by bit. Good work, Tony Man. our last day and we do all, Sam, Vicky and myself, want to recognise how difficult it's been. It's been a lot of information for one, so a lot of brain exercise, but secondly it's been a lot of physical exercise too and that I guess is just part of it and we would rarely ever do six days in a row and then back it up with another two after one day off. So. That's a very important thing for everyone here to recognise that we've had very limited time in the country and we've really tried to condense it as much as possible. And so if you're feeling sore, you're feeling exhausted and you're feeling just drained, <laughs> it's fine <laughs> and normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's <laughs> 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 scary. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Woo! Okay. Find and balance. Wow. 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 Wild one. Yeah. Woo! Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> hey, friends. The Rick, yeah. the climber. Yeah. <laughs> he went a long way. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> back. Yeah. 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 back.
they've got their starting off points, they've got their, their foundation of, of training. Um, but this is something that we, the three of us, spoke about a lot. It's not just that you do one training course and then that's you as a climber. The contingency, the consolidation of these skills are now equally as important as them getting some experience in the trees. And I believe that their successes will be made even more successful if we can support them now on this journey. This was just the first step. Yeah.